Hello everyone, welcome back to Clear Creek Solutions Hydrology Education videos. Today we're going to be doing some more EPA swim modeling. Today we're going to build a project from absolute scratch. So I don't even have um, a template that I'm working from, like the sample swim projects here. I'm literally just going to build a project uh, in front of you. I kind of have an idea what it's, look like, what it's going to look like. It's not going to be crazy complex, but we're going to get set up, look into some of the factors that we need to consider. Uh, when building an EPA swim project. We have a hydrology terms guide. It's 100% free. If you want to learn some of the terminology um, that is used in the hydrology industry, we have, we have a guide. It's 100% free. Just go to the description box there. We also have 18 other EPA swim videos covering how to use the program. You can find that in a playlist in the description box. Okay, let's get into this one. So first off, I'm going to add a sub catchment or actually, excuse me, I'm going to add a rain gauge element here. So I'm gonna hit the plus button. Um, that should help me add a rain gauge. Here we go. I want to get that. Oh, I don't need that one. Now let's get this rain gauge set up. How I'm going to do that is I'm actually going to import uh, a time series. And so if I go to properties, um, I should be able to set that up. Here we go. D data file. I want to import. There we go. So we've got some rain gauge data here. If we go to file name, import. We're gonna grab that information. Okay, so we have that there. And I wanna to go to data source files. So I'm not inputting a time series or something like that. Uh, with the information, we're actually gonna grab the, the data source to be the file, which we just imported here. Okay, I'm gonna name this rain gauge one. So that should be all uh, set up there. Okay, so we have our rain gauge. We have our, our rain data that we're going to be using uh, in the model. Now we need to add a subcatchment, which is going to be our basin area. Let's draw this out here. I believe if I hit control or right click closes the outline. There we go. So we have our subcatchment now. I'm going to click here. I don't need to add any more. And now I want to go to the subcatchment properties. Okay, so this, if you double click on the element, it opens up the properties there. And here's everything we can modify. So this is subcatchment one. Um, the rain gauge we want to connect it to is rain gauge one, which we have over here. So that's the time series data. It's going to rain on this land use area and then eventually go through the rest of our model. So for our area in acres, I'm going to go with 10 acres. Uh, it's going to have a width of 500 for the, the overland flow path there. We'll stick with that uh, half percent slope. Let's go with 30% impervious area. Uh, I'll go with 0.015 for the end, the Manning's end for the impervious. Um, that looks good to me. I don't have any problems with anything there. Groundwater, no, I'm gonna stick with the Horton infiltration and then 100% of it's going to be routed. So I like what I have here um, for my sub catchment. Now we're gonna add some hydraulic elements. First, we're gonna add our nodes. So we're gonna add a junction here. We're actually gonna add a few junctions. Junction one, two, three. And then of course we're gonna add an, an outfall for it to finally go through here. Okay, so now we've got those elements there. What I'm gonna do is actually connect some of these together with, uh, we need to go to links. So conduits, and we're gonna add a few conduits here. We're gonna connect these elements together, uh, and then we're going to connect these together and then finally to the outfall. So we have some conduits here in our model. Now we need to get the sub catchment connected to the junction and get it routed properly here. So let's figure that out. Um, let's see. I believe I can go back to conduits again. I should be able to uh, connect that there. Okay, so if we go to outlet here, we can determine, so this one is called junction two, and that's what I want my outlet to be. So I think if I click here, it should be able to do that. Okay, there's a way you can click it, but I'm gonna go with J2 is my outlet. There we go. So I put two in there, the name is, it's junction two, but the name is actually two. 
So now that's my outlet. So I have the rainfall going to the subcatchments can be draining through these conduits, junctions, and then finally through the outfall. So now we need to set up these junctions actually. So I'm gonna click on the junction here. Right now it has no max depth. We wanna change that. I wanna make it four. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about any of these. And the invert elevation, I'm gonna make uh, 30 feet just for this example here. And then on to the next conduit or next junction, excuse me. I'm going to make the invert elevation 28 because it's going to be going down. Obviously water flows from uh, top to bottom, right? Naturally keep that max depth four. And then I'm going to go for 26 invert elevation, continue to make it four feet. And then finally for the outfall, uh, I'm going to make it 22 here. And then, yeah, so that's all set up there. Okay, so this model is set up, and if I hit run, it should run properly. So let's see what happens here. Okay, I got 0% surface runoff, 0% flow routing, continuity error. So the model does work. This is a very simple, small model here. Obviously, we could get into some of the conduit design, the length, the roughness, and everything in between. We can modify these things. But this is how to build like a simple EPA swim model from scratch. I just put the rain gauge, imported my time series data. That was a file. You can also hand type in some some data there. Um, then I put in my subcatchment with some area, and then I imported my junctions, connected them all together, and then routed it to the outfall to be the final uh, part of the flow path. So anyways, that's how to set up a very basic model from scratch in EPA Swim. If you have any questions, let me know in the description down below if you'd like to see any other EPA Swim or hydrology modeling video, videos. And anyways, I'll see you guys next time.